Hi everyone, welcome to this Touch Plus video tutorial. My name is Ian Yates and in this quick tip screencast we're going to be taking a look at an application for Mac OS X uh, which goes by the name of Hammer. Now Hammer for Mac.com uh, is an application which can help you when building static websites. And by static I mean purely HTML, CSS, JavaScript, no server-side technology needed, no database connection or anything like that. Uh, if you're working with static websites, then the workflow can often be a little unintuitive. You can often find yourself having to repeat tasks. If you have to change a path, for example, you'll have to search and replace during, uh, within all the different files involved. Uh, it's a bit of a nightmare, and that's why a lot of people uh, have moved away from building just static websites these days. Now, Hammer does lots of stuff to help out with this, but what we're specifically going to be looking at today is how it can help out with our Starsheet organization. For example, uh, if I take a look on my desktop here, you'll see I have an example folder where I have a CSS folder with a few CSS files within it uh, and an index.html. Now, I'm going to open up this project in Hammer, like so. I'll drop it in there to the left hand side of the uh, interface and you'll see it's opened up my project and you'll see a number of uh, different bits and pieces in the right hand side uh, to show what's going on. Now, uh, what you'll also notice is that it says up here built project successfully. What Hammer will do is take all your work files and it will reprocess them uh, into a separate build folder uh, where everything can ultimately be optimized uh, for deployment to a web server. Now I work with Coda more often than not, uh, which I have uh, set up as the default code editor here. You can set whichever code editor you work with, uh, such as Sublime Text for example, whatever you work with up here, and that will be the code editor that your project is opened in when you click this button. So if I click that, it will open up our project in uh, Coda. You'll see the familiar index.html plus a CSS folder but now we have an additional build folder, which contains, uh, to all intents and purposes, a complete duplicate of what we have so far. Uh, further down the line, we can optimize our build so that will look slightly different. But for the time being, uh, let's, for example, have a look at our index.html. Uh, it contains nothing more than an H1 and a paragraph. And if we take a look at how that appears in the browser, we're going to look at our build version because uh, that's going to be the optimized version. Uh, this is purely what we have. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is bring in our style sheets. I'm using Emmet, so I can simply put link CSS and then trigger that to uh, output a link for a style sheet very quickly. So we have our style CSS. Uh, I can also add, what have we got here? We've got normalize. That's going to want to go first, obviously. Oh, excuse me a second while I'm messing around here. I'm going to drag in the paths automatically from the coder. So, for example, we want our theme CSS, and we have a normalized CSS, and we have typography CSS, and of course, that path is also slightly incorrect. Now, ordinarily speaking, we'd want normalized first, uh, and then I don't know, maybe styles and then theme, typography, whatever. Um, that's how that's that's what we've got so far. So that's fine. If we just press save, uh, then uh, you'll notice that if I check the build folder again, then under the uh, the head of our index.html, everything looks exactly as we just set it. Uh, this isn't a very efficient way of working though, and Hammer can help us out by using its Starsheet command. So, for example, I can use uh, the Hammer syntax, which looks a lot like an HTML comment. Uh, with an at sign, and then there are various commands that we can use. If I put style uh, sheet, like so, and then I point specifically to styles, and then round off the comment like so. Uh, if I press save now, Hammer will rebuild my project. I'll check in index HTML, and you'll see that uh, it has in fact outputted uh, a perfectly valid style sheet link. Let's now repeat that. Um, although there's no point in, in repeating the same command over and over and over again. So let's just put, uh, for example, normalize, that's what we wanted first, 
then styles, then a theme. I don't need the, uh, the file extension either. It will automatically figure out what I'm talking about. And then typography. So I'll save that. Uh, again, every time I build successfully, you'll see that we get this little icon here. It will throw me an error if something goes wrong. Uh, so I'll check on the index.html, and you can see that, again, it's output the star sheets in exactly the right order that I wanted. Again, though, if I were to add another star sheet to my files, then uh, it would be, I'd have to then go back into the head and add it into my star, my star sheet command. And that's not a very efficient way of working. So what we can do is replace these with a wildcard. We'll use the folder name and then a forward slash and an asterisk. And that's going to drag all of the files out of my CSS folder and output them in a similar way. Uh, again, you can see that it's done that for us perfectly well there. The only problem is that now it's, uh, it's I don't know exactly why it's chosen that order, but it's chosen a different order for outputting the files. And ideally, we'd like normalized CSS or whatever our reset is to come before any other styles in our document. So we're going to have to be a little bit more specific. And we can do that by actually defining normalize before we bring in the other files from our folder. Again, I'll check how that's how, how that's. Oh, I'm just going to have to make sure that everything's rebuilt. I'll rebuild it now manually. And I'll double check by clicking on the index file here. And you'll see that normalize has come in now before any of the others. Uh, this is really, uh, really extremely useful. Uh, and of course, if I then add a style here, for example, I'm going to make my H1 tomato color, all that tomato, I'll save that. Uh, now, when we go into hammer and we rebuild, we can also click on this optimized toggle switch. So I'll do that. It's been rebuilt and it's been properly optimized as well. Now what that has done is it's grabbed all our CSS files and JavaScript, by the way. Uh, you can see the order it's grabbed them in here. So normalizers come first and it's compiled them into this insane looking uh, CSS file. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's extremely useful to have uh, CSS um, files named in this almost random way because that uh, it avoids any caching problems you might have in the browser. So now we can see that we have our rather large CSS file name there. This is our CSS file, and this is the only one that we actually need to deploy to the server. If we check our index.html, uh, you'll see it's just pointed to a single CSS file. So that means fewer HTTP requests. Everything's been minimized if I double click it. Uh, so you'll see that everything's in the right order, by the way. The H1 with a color of tomato is the final rule in there. Uh, and so with everything being minimized and contained into one file, uh, we now have a far better performing uh, website. Okay, so that's it for this quick tip. Uh, I hope you've realized the potential of using an application such as Hammer for Mac. Uh, what we've done is taken our various CSS files uh, we've managed them uh, using the style sheet command from Hammer so that should we add any more CSS files in the future, we don't necessarily need to add them to the head of our document. Uh, we've looked at the order that they're output in, and we've looked at minimizing and compiling everything into a single, uh, well-performing style sheet. My name is Ian Yates, and from all of us here at Tuts Plus, thanks for watching.